Hey guys, Jason here. So today I'm sharing the experience of the much dreaded task that I have to perform today and that all of us guitar players have to perform from time to time, and that's the changing of the strings. Not a fun task, but it's necessary. So in doing so, I'm actually going to give you probably my first real product review that I've done on YouTube. You guys know most of my lessons revolve around, um, or most of my videos rather, revolve around lessons and exercises for, for lead guitar playing, uh, metal rhythms, and some guitar tones, some other random stuff. I don't think I've ever actually done a product review, so this is the first. And it's going to be on the Elixir's Nano Web Strings, and I've been using these again for the past five or six years now. It's one of those things is when I started using them, I didn't care to go back or to anything else or to try anything new. Uh, I probably have tried two or three other types of strings, other brands of strings over the years, and uh, I can't even tell you what they are because it was one of those things where I changed them and I almost immediately changed right back. And that's actually the case in today's video. So I'm not going to be changing strings on this guitar. Um, I just released my second studio album, Heavy Metal Workout. So if you haven't heard that, go to iTunes, Amazon, whatever your preference is, and, uh, and search for Heavy Metal Workout by Jason Stallworth. And I just recorded that album with this guitar, my Ibanez RG1570, and of course with the Elixirs. In fact, all my videos that you will watch on YouTube were, were done using the Elixir strings. Again, I've been using these things for a long time now. But the guitar I'm going to be changing my strings on today is my, and you guys have seen this in past videos, my ESP M1000 Deluxe. And I actually love this guitar. So, actually I had switched strings on this a while back and um, I don't even remember what brand or what strings they were, but they are supposed to be really high-end strings. I put them on and I immediately just did not like the tone, did not like the feel. You know, I gave it a couple weeks, I still don't like it, so I was recording my album with my Ibanez anyway, so I kind of just put my ESP up for a while. But now I'm getting ready to start recording tracks for my third studio album. I want to use this guitar, so I'm going to change the strings today on it. So let's get to that task, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the strings. <music> So now that, that dreadful task is done and over with, thank God we can talk a little bit more about why Jason uses Elixir NanoWebs. So I'm going to break this down into four reasons, and two of those reasons are right on the box. Great tone and long life. So let's talk about tone first, because I think that's probably the most important out of any reason when it comes to using your strings. Um, Obviously, there's a lot of variables that go into your tone. There's the guitar player, the way you fret, your attack, and your style, that sort of thing. There's the guitar and the pickups you're using, uh, the type of wood and that sort of thing. There's your uh, your output source, your amp, whether you're using an amp, miking it an amp. Um, if you're using plugins, I use plugins most of the time these days for recording. So there's a lot of different variables that go into tone. You don't want your weakest link of your tone being your strings. On that note, I actually prefer the tone that comes out of the elixirs, and again, that's why I've been using them for the past five, six years. So, long life is listed on here as well. Now, to me, that's crucial because I play every day, and a lot of you play often, and what you should, if you've guys, you guys who have been following my videos for a while know that I talk about the consistency of practice. So if you're serious about your instrument, you should make an effort to play daily or at least several times a week. If that means making yourself a schedule, do that. Set reminders, whatever it takes. So I'm kind of getting off track there, but that's, you know, that's always been important to me. Practice your instrument. In doing so, you want strings that last a little bit longer than standard strings. Now, if you play out a lot, then there's a, a completely different element coming into the life of your strings. So, on that note, these strings are the ticket, for me anyway. 
Um, another thing is the playability of the strings. I find it more effortless to play using the elixirs versus some of the other strings I've tried in the past. And the fourth thing I wanted to mention, and this kind of ties in with the first thing we talked about, is they seem to hold their tone consistently throughout the duration, you know, at the time that you have the strings on the guitar. I've had elixirs on guitars for far more than six months, and they still, you know, for the most part, held their tone. Now, any string, no matter how great, you know, it's kind of going to deaden, the tone is going to deaden over time. But you know, when we talk about tone and long lasting, all those things tied together, uh, you know, in my opinion, this is the better string for me. Now, I know some people don't care for the coating on here. Some people don't, I've heard people, you know, say they don't care for the tone that it brings out. Uh, again, I prefer the tone and I like the way the coating feels. It's just all around a better string in my opinion. So, and now I can start recording the tracks for the next album. So hope you guys enjoyed the review and we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.